So let's just take a look at that full Viz title interface and I'm going to start it off from scratch. So on the ADS timeline I'm going to come over here and click and choose Viz title. Which track is the title actually going to end up in? Well it depends on where this little V is. If the V is here the title will end up on the VA track. If the V is there it will end up on the video track. If it's on there it will end up in the title track. So I'm going to choose Viz title and it comes straight into an empty full interface. Bit crowded on screen here at the moment because I'm using quite a low resolution so this is viewable on the Tinterweb. So what have I got? Well, for a start down here I've got timeline which is where titles get laid out. I've got a preview window, obviously where you can see stuff. I've got some properties over here with some different tabs on them and a bunch of buttons up the top. Down on the timeline here there's this little thing at the side and if I click on that I'll go straight into all those different title templates that we could see inside of Edia. So these are actually the same templates. You notice the particle template I used was that one. And if I want to use it, I can just drag it and drop it up here. And now I'm using that particular template as part of my title. And you've got objects and different types of subtitle and shaders. Shaders basically being different looks to text. Transform is things flying in or out, so pre-made paths. Images, as it says, they're pictures movies of all sorts of different objects and this sort of thing and different ways the text can do so. If you want to use any of those you can drag it and shove it onto the timeline and you'll have a particular effect applied to whatever you've just dragged it onto. In this case I've made a right mess of that because I applied it onto the particles. You know, it's just a movement on the text and I've managed to apply it onto the particles. But anyway so down there you've got an awful lot of templates of pre-made stuff. We're going to ignore that and I'm going to start from scratch and I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to click up here and make another blank title. I want to get rid of the first one so I'm just going to go to that and say delete it. Up here you can stack up loads and loads and loads of titles. So you can come into this title and make up one and then make up several others. Then when you come out of it you'll be prompted by EDS to save each one of them. Only one of them ends up on the timeline. They'll all end up in the bin but one of them will end up on the timeline. So every time I do this I'm creating another title which when I come out of this title will be put into EDIUS. Personally I tend to do one at a time but that's what this is for. Now I want to actually stick some words on here. So you can see at the top here I've got various headings. Now the EDIUS one is just you know, getting stuff in and out. There's the edit tab which is all about editing stuff. Now there's nothing to edit because it's blank. The object tab which is the one that pops up as a default lets you put stuff in like for example text either horizontal text, text on a curve, morphy text. You'll notice some of these buttons have got little downward arrows. If you click on that, then there's different things you can do. So that's horizontal text, that's vertical text. You've got things like flags. Click on that, drag out, you'll have a flag. Yay, I've got a flag. You've got images or movies you can bring in. When it says movie up here, this isn't sort of any old movie. There's only a couple of types of files you can bring in. That's what these will do. They'll put in either images or movies. Let's uh, get rid of that for a moment. This one makes clocks. And this one gets you to all sorts of stuff. This is the button that people commonly miss out the most inside of Viz Title. When you buy Viz Title, you get the basic package and you can get some extra plugins to go with it. There are some free plugins and there's some really nice extra plugins that you pay for, particularly the handwriting, the karaoke, and the 3D particle. We've had a lot of people actually buy Viz Title from us and say, I can't find these things, where are they? Well, they're all up here. Click on that and then you can choose what plugin you want to use. There we are, choose the 3D Particle plugin, up comes the 3D Particle plugin interface, which you start playing with. Some of these, well, when you click on it, will say, oh, you cannot create your selected plugin, blah, blah, blah. Basically, some plugins need to be applied to an object, so you have to have something there first before you can use it. But that's where you get to all the extra plugins. Over here, I've got typeface and so on. You then get options for things like putting up the safe areas and grids, this sort of thing. And then scroll, which is all about scrolling titles. 